guys, it's me, your friend, your pal, your boy, you got Mo. Back with the homie Josh, playing some of the land this time. I don't know if Josh is actually still here. We were talking about something else earlier. Oh, Josh is actually here still. Yeah, sorry, just kind of zoned. Oh, no, that's cool. I didn't know if you were actually here, and I was like, I've been talking so much about that Activision nonsense, I didn't know if you were still here or not. So I'm at like, I'm at one of the hardest levels in the Aladdin game, the one where you gotta escape the Cave of Wonders. Like a lot of fire and stuff, that. huh? A lot of That's fires and a fucking, uh, God, what's, what's the game called? Ah, shit. A lot of fire and boulders, uh, Indiana Jones style. <laughs> Um, but this game has a rewind button, so I'm taking full advantage of it. Something I didn't have access to as a child. Hey, modern innovations. Making the world a better place. It's funny because... The things I'm rewinding for, I don't need to rewind for, to be honest. It's like, oh, I wanted to get that gym. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Yeah, but it took a couple lives in real life with a rewind button. Anything as possible. Oh shit! <laughs> with a rewind button, you actually have infinite wishes with your genie. Exactly. A rewind button, I can do everything that genie couldn't do. There we go. Oh, what the? Oh. You know what? Not worth it. Sabotage bounties. Nice. You playing Warframe again? No, I'm still playing Destiny. No, like. The sabotage bounties? What can you sabotage? The, 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 the Varix missions from Beyond Light. Oh. Yeah. yeah I, I, finally, I finally finished up the last of those I had. I was just thinking, yo, how's this world rolling uphill? <laughs> physics. In a universe with magic, physics mean nothing. Alright, I beat the level. So there's no checkpoints on that level, which makes that level. And damn it, everything's a one hit kill. I keep saying worse and worse things. I don't like it. Do I still have an upgrade box? In a roulette where you get a Jafar option, which is a lose if you get it, you automatically lose. All your wishes. Uh -huh. And as a kid, I would get those all the time. Like, hell, in this video alone, I just rewinded through like five of them. <laughs> like, while we're talking. <laughs> oh my, oh man. That is. Rug ride. Designed. Well, it's a roulette wheel, so, like, you know. I mean, it's Oh no! Like... My cable disconnected. Ugh. Fuck. The headset disconnected. I didn't hear what you said. I probably gave you a bunch of static, and I'm sorry, Chief. That's fine. I was, I was all I was saying was like, uh, I feel like if you did a roulette thing four times in a row and it gave you the the, the worst outcome four times in a row, it's uh. So what happens is you weird. actually get to Jafar once and you instantly lose. Like, oh, like, just, just one. Okay. 
Yeah, so I, I kept doing it. I kept losing. Pretty much happened. So now the rug ride mission is one of those on the rail missions, and the and like the genie gives you hints on where you should be map wise, whether it's up or down. Gotcha. But like you know, you're still trying to collect all the apple halves. Mhm. Mm you're, still, you're still trying to get everything, yeah. Yeah, it's like, but I'm not because I have 99 apples because I don't use the apples are projectile to, you know, save you. Mm -hmm. And then, like, basically what happens is the game goes faster. The game goes faster and eventually, like, you lose track of everything. Yeah. Like, it might want you to go all the way to the bottom. And oh my god, so just now I just got a question mark when he didn't, he wasn't telling me where to go. Which I never saw that before. I, I, I missed all the wishes. Like all the possible wishes I could have got this much, I missed all of those. <laughs> hey, I beat it. <laughs> now he's talking like six rewind. <laughs> All right, I've escaped the cave of wonders. It only took seven minutes. Oh man, wait, I didn't do the gene over yet. You ain't never had a friend. Oh, here we go, inside the land. Uh, it gives you like so. I'm gonna get copyright strikes. I'll be ass to this. Like all my money's gonna go to some German company. Sure. But like so now it's like that. Damn damn. Mm -hmm. So what's weird about this particular level is that. What's weird about this particular level is that uh. Um like I don't. Every time I've played it as a kid, like, there's, like, no particular way to beat Like, Genie's arms, you, like, sink the woman shit. Mm -hmm. Like, quicksand. His wristbands are solid. But it's like, I feel like the level itself like makes up its roles makes up what's happening like this level itself is just as chaotic to a genie i'm having some of column a i'm trying have i'm trying some i've had some of column a i'm literally in column b right now okay i'm supposed to do something with these balloons i don't know what i'm supposed to do with these balloons i'm supposed to do something with these balloons. Yeah, I was supposed to do something with those balloons. Big rip. I don't, oh, I can grab the balloons. That's what's happening. Okay. I can grab the chin traps on the balloons. Like, he's in the mood to annoy you, dude, in this game. I found out the other day why Robin Williams never came back to do any more Aladdin movies. Why's that? They were, they told him while doing that movie he couldn't do anything else. So he just refused to work with Disney again. Uh, you know, that's fair. They were like, yeah, you can't be working on other th projects right now. So Because they wanted to control like the interviews. Like anytime he was interviewed, they wanted him to have to be talking about that project. While he was working on it, it was like, fam, you only get interviewed about movies when you're shooting movies. It's like, wait a minute. Like, nobody's asking you about movies if you're not filming a movie. So it was like, y'all actually did yourselves a disservice. Hey, it's the shopkeep. Much 
useless, creepy shopkeep. Right to our good friend from Resident Evil. Yeah, indeed. It's this sleazy shopkeep from the beginning of the Aladdin movie. Yeah, apparently people are saying like the Genesis version is the best version of this, and I'm like, I could have sworn I'm playing the Genesis version. So maybe it's the Super Nintendo version that they're saying. But like this game had like seven different versions out when it dropped. Got to get as much money out of it as you can. It wasn't even that. It was more like uh, the, the the power of the console that it dropped on. Hmm. It's funny because like I really think the genie of the lamp character in the La Disney's the movie was based off of Jay Leno. Just our mannerisms. And shit. It's like I remember how annoying this game was now. Like, and it's just this level because like it's it's the level itself is literally as chaotic as the genie of the lamp. Braytex awesome. facility. I'm gonna probably call it a night. Oh, come on, game. Fuck me, bro. Game. Don't let the genie beat you. Genie ain't got shit on you. The genie got a lot of things on me right now. Cause like, so what's happening, like for context, is that I'm at this part where you gotta jump on these platforms, or the platforms are in or out. The middle platform doesn't work on the same timer as the bottom and top. Oh my god, and I just, I just had it. And I fucked it up. So it's like... So it's like you gotta get in it and like once you're on... Oh fuck. And it's like I'm jumping too high. Okay, I figured it out. It took a minute, but I had to play the middle disappearing arm against itself. The strats. Yeah, basically it was like, yo, jump off the arm, but then jump instantly back on the arm. Okay. 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 <laughs> Oh my god, it's over, thank god. <laughs> and then the Abu levels are harder than I remember harder than I remember from when I was a kid. You remember back in the game when arbitrary when the games had arbitrary arbitrary max lives? Yeah, they I do mean remember logic carry. Yeah, I do mean arbitrary max lives. No, I don't care that I got to lose at the end of that. Free from the magic limb, the genie helps a lot escape to the cave of wonders. It's like, I don't recall Aladdin being trapped in the lamp in the game, in the movie. 
<laughs> I mean, he was trapped in the cave for a little bit. He wasn't trapped in a lamp. He <laughs> wasn't trapped in a lamp, you're right. Like, and all these games we're trying to do... We... And all these games we're honestly trying to do is, like, retell the, retell the movie. Well, with the... What the Genesis version was trying to do. That's usually what the, what the movie is doing. They, they, they just, uh. It's like, here's the game, or here's the movie, but as a game. Which is fine, like. Okay, did not know you could just jump off that rug whenever the hell you want it. I thought I was tethered to it. the lamp out of cave of wonders I and mean, once you get the fucking uh rug carpet out of the cave of wonders a whole different game because like they start incorporating it into, incorporating it into levels I, I keep killing iago the beast. Pretty sure beast ain't supposed to be in these, but I'm not gonna tell anybody. I choose. Not gonna tell this me to mix some properties. This game got a lot of secret characters like that. So uh, some Mickey's, hidden Mickey's, which apparently was a thing long before Kingdom Hearts. Evident of this game. So from what I understand, there, there's some actually like in the theme parks too. Oh really? 
I know that. There's like, there's like actual real life ones here. That'd be cool to find. You know, if Disney was affordable. I've went to Disney years ago, like years ago as a child, and like my dad went years ago. And he's like, it was, and he's like, and he's like, it's not, it wasn't the same because you know, my, because my kids weren't. He was like, it's not fun. He's like, it's like going to like Six Flags or something. Planes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's crazy, because when we went to Disney, it was affordable. Well, hey, Disney ain't even affordable now. Well, how is it just lines? I got two follows. And Action followed me on fucking YouTube. That's dope. And, so I'm, and I'm, t I'm talking like I'm not recording this right now. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, like, why am I acting like this game doesn't have a rewind button? Like, I'm legit like failing parts and I'm just like redoing it for like no reason. And you accidentally keep it too real. Hey Abu, why are you in a the cage there with a sword? Okay. Can I can I free Abu from his cage? Is this one of them secret levels I got? Alright fam, so you're trying to sell me some stuff, right? I noticed that you can't sell me what I need, like health. <laughs> uh, yo, there's a rug. The carpet's just like chilling over a floor panel. Like, I don't know if homie's like keeping me from falling through said floor panel. I tried to go through it. Now I'm like confused. Carpet move? I don't want to step on the spikes. Just the. I didn't buy anything from you. I accidentally bought a witch from him while walking past. Okay. That seems pretty on point for Disney. Okay, I freed a bull. Don't ask me how that happened, but I freed a bull. Which has dropped me, which freeing a boo somehow led me into a spike trap. Oh, boss fight. Boss fight. Oh, come on. You know it's a boss fight because of the music. Okay, so I figured out what to do, how to do it. Now I just need to figure out how to do it with top health. Alright. Ooh, diamond achievement! Spooky encounters defeat Diago in the Sultan's Palace. Somebody sitting around going, why do we have a We Run feature to the game? Like, <laughs> even though, granted, there's a lot of other games that do this that are not beatable. Like Sonic the Hedgehog, like, if you don't know how to beat that, a We Run feature ain't helping you. <laughs> like, no. like, but this, a We Run feature in this makes this shit a whole lot easier. It's like, alright, I know what I need to do. I know how to get in position to do it now. Oh, so it's just fire in the ground. Oh, that's because uh, we're in Jafar's version of the Sultan's Palace. 
I'm like, why is there just random fire going across the ground? That only seems to affect me. It's like, what type of magic Prince of Persia bullshit is this? Oh man, I got a whole spike floor. Like, Jafar, come on, dog. <laughs> like, like, enough is enough. Like, <laughs> he's got an aesthetic and he's sticking with it, man. Like, this shit is ridiculous. Like, fam, how you got a spike floor? <laughs> Explain to me. <laughs> like, what was your thought process? And he was like, yo, we're just gonna put spikes on the whole fucking pack. Fuck him. Oh, so Jafar, Jafar's version of the Sultan has, has all the traps in the game that, that you've come across thus far. All on one level. Right? Because I'm like... Some of the enemies are fighting, it's like, there's no way this enemy would be here. I fought you in the cave of wonder. Yo fam, fam, I just murked Iago, like why is Iago coming back? Right there, okay. Damn, I'm trying to jump off the run. Yeah. Oh, I need you to come back. I am. Uh, I got one more screen. It's like you got yeah, tricked the rug into coming back. Mm -hmm. I guess. I know where I need you. You know where I need you. Where's this other cube? So these fucking stupid statues from the Cave of Wonders that you're gonna hit when you're not looking at them, it's so annoying. They're only damageable when you're not looking at them, like fucking uh, Weeping Angels. Ew. even have a way for you to like attack behind yourself no so uh, it's a whole trick the enemy into attacking it's like you gotta be close enough when the enemy attacks they like almost counter him yeah but you can counter the objects that they throw at you it's a hold to do Like that's what the apples are for? Oh, okay. Like, and like, so if you get to get the Iago boss fight with no apples, bro, you're just in a bad, you're just in it. You're just gonna have a bad. Cause the, the Iago boss fight is banking on you having some apples. Well, it's possible to get there with no apples. I'm fighting Jafar now. Why do I feel like the Jafar fight is banking on me having apples? It seems like the Jafar fight was banking on me having apples, but I don't have any. It's like, how do I fight this dude? Like, how do I do damage to him? Okay, yep, you need apples to damage him. You need apples to the point where the game gives you apples. Actually, you know what? Let me re now that I know that, let me rewind the point for health. Alright, so I'm rushing to fight. Stop. Pushing the fight, got a bushel of apples. No, I'm pushing the fight, fight. And I literally got five apples. Well, it was more than it was, but I had more health than 
Mm -hmm. Like, like, the Argon Jafar are the only boss fights that require you to have apples. That seems poorly designed. What the fuck? He's a snake now. Yeah, that's Game, what that's... in the movie. Yeah, but like, you know, didn't expect it. Yeah, I think it might be better just to let myself die. Come back with the full health. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, nah, wait, fam. It don't even... I understand the checkpoint wasn't the boss fight. But, you know, I was at the boss fight. Oh, right, let's see. I rewind from... I understand the checkpoint ain't the boss fight, but fam, that's where I was at. <laughs> like, like, when you get used to some new game mechanics. Yeah, because, like, homie does not take any sword damage. Oof. Fuck it, Jafar, you got it. I gotta come at you fresh. I gotta come at you from the checkpoint. Just keep swinging and hope you don't die. Just keep swinging your sword, hope you don't die. Why is this motherfucker purple now? Like, you were not purple a second ago. They got the motherfucker, they got him looking like the motherfucker from the Princess and the Frog right now. Doctor guy? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so you automatically get flamed if you're standing on a platform. So you can't stand on a platform to judge the flames. <sighs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how this was beatable for anybody. Like, let alone a fucking kid who the game was designed for. Cause you got the stuff, so it's like. Cause, like. <laughs> so, Josh. So, to not get hit by Jafar, like, unless it's just regular Jafar form and not snake form, you gotta, like, jump over this motherfucker. And you can only jump over this motherfucker by hitting the fucking um, platform. But as soon as you touch the platforms, they set you on fire. Oh no. Like, I'm confused on what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> like, like, literally, like. Oh, actually, I found out I'm a liar. You can hit the platforms as long as you keep moving. But the minute you, like, make a false step... Like, so let's say you try to move, like, let's say you take a step forward and then take a step back, you instantly get damaged. Ooh. So I kind of figured out how to play it. On all the way up to the problem is 
If you try and jump up and get them damn apples without getting hit, it's a that's a hole to do. Oh. It's just like yeah, because like you find yourself looking up accidentally when you shouldn't be looking up, and looking up mm -hmm. makes you stand in place. Then you're screwed, yeah. Because now you're taking damage that you didn't even take. I wonder if the D pad or oh, the D pad mode. Maybe I just need to play pad. Like the game was designed a hundred years ago. Sometimes. Like I was playing like uh one of the Shantae games a couple months, like a month or two ago, and playing with the D pad for movement actually helped a lot. I don't even know if I'm hitting this motherfucker at this point. I literally just... Fuck. The problem with the rewind feature, too, is that, like... Mm -hmm. It should have rewind, right? So, like, you're in the middle of whatever animation it was when you, when you press the rewind. Oh, so, like, if you rewind it, like, you're, like, mid-jump and home in direction, you just stop doing that, yeah. Yeah. Like you, like you gotta consciously remember that you're now pressing rewind and to stop do holding whatever the fuck you're holding. I I like that I'm at the boss fight and it's just as difficult as I remember to be completely honest. And now it's like, but now I have no excuse not to beat it though. I have everything at my disposal. Like I have all the tools. Oh my god, and my dumbass still looked up. Now I wish, like, you know, I could use those genie wishes. I have to remember, I don't, if I jump up there, I need to just keep running. I can't stop it. Fuck. Don't you hit the jump button, you're fine. <laughs> like, literally, the trick is... <laughs> literally, the trick is... Oh my god. Literally, the trick is... Jump and keep moving. And you gotta make sure you jump high enough because of the ground flames. whole time when I'm running around trying to get the apples to respawn, spawn not realizing I still have an apple in my hand. And that's why the apples won't respawn. Oh no. Oh and I forgot to mention you could waste all four of your apples without hitting them all. Because you can because you can throw them and they can hit the platforms that you now have to avoid because fire. But hey, I now figured out how to at least get the apples without dying, for the most part. Oh, and BC Dubs, at this point I figured it all out after having no health left. 
Of cause, of course. Oh, oh no. I think every eight apples I'm getting like one hit off, except for just now where I somehow except for just now where I somehow I managed to like get a hit off Jesus Christ. Except for just now where I somehow managed to get all hit off on every toss. And so I had to rewind back to before I even threw the apples. <laughs> Sounds like you're in a rough spot here. Up. These games were not designed with joysticks in mind. Oh shit, I beat it. Oh shit, I beat it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Defeat your 400 fire towers. Beat the original version of Aladdin on normal difficulty. I ain't beating on nothing higher. Sorry. <laughs> hey, shit. <laughs> Virgin Games, that's right, when Virgin Media made games. When Virgin Mobile wasn't a phone company. Excellent. I'm gonna just uh, hit this uh, button real quick, check for these achievements. Is this ain't beat the original version relied on practice, but I don't count. Beating on practice. Beat on, beat the original version relied on a difficult difficulty. Aha! Uh -huh. Let me do this again. Beat the final cut version of Aladdin. Beat Lion King on easy, normal, Lion King on difficult. Beat the Aladdin trade show demo. So there's not even checkpoints for along the way for Lion King. It's just like, yo, beat this shit three times. And while well, you gotta beat the original Aladdin three times and then beat the final cut. What? Another achievement. Snake my day. Beat wow. So my computer picked up I had the achievements before the console picked up I had the achievements. Didn't even notice that. I mean, I guess this way they're making sure you get your money's worth out of the game by making you beat it multiple times. Mm -hmm. I'm beating on practice. Fuck that noise. I <laughs> think. <laughs> uh, or maybe easy? Yeah, I'm beating on practice. Speaking of which, these difficulty settings did not exist in the first game. The original game. So I don't know why they exist now. They want to feel beautiful. Mm. Anyway, guys, uh, what's my playthrough with Disney's Aladdin? Play it out there. Play it through. Because maybe I'll. That's a lie. I'll show you the trade show demo in the final cut version because those are technically different. But the rest, no. This is this is this is it. Ugh, man, give a special thanks to me, Disney, and Virgin Games, all right? I played this. I'm not seeing nobody play this on YouTube. I've looked. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this game came out in 1993, and at the end it says, Gotta fly. With a ellipses and an extra dot. It's a very 90s thing to do. Let's exit. I didn't want to start this game again. I didn't want to start this game again. Game options. Quick game. Wait, no save. There's no need to save this. I already beat it. So there's Disney Aladdin Console S. And Hell, which is the Game Boy. And hell color. Also, as this final cut, this demo is Japanese. I feel like there's another. I feel like there should be another console. Console S is the Sega, unless that's all they got the rights for. 
Because this is the one I remember, but apparently there's a much better version. Final Cut might... Why am I saying Final Cut's a whole different game? And the demo... Oh yeah, the demo version is definitely a different game. There's no fucking rolling genie head and magic lamp. And the regular version of this game, so... Just the shits and giggles. I want to see what the different version of Lion King. So there's console and... Console, so there's a Nintendo version. There's a Sega version. There's a Japanese version. That's it for the and for shits and giggles, what are the achievements for it? It just says beat the Lion King. Three different difficulties. Difficult, normal, and easy. I might just be all three versions of N N S N Japanese. Japan. I might just beat all three. Just because. Anyway, guys, till next know. time. Me, your friend, your guy, your pal, Mo. That's been Josh. Oh, oh, the strong, silent type. That's tight. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs>